This is Pat Murphy Racy. I'm talking to you today about the Florida Spoonbills and Wetland Birds Photography Workshop that's happening in about three months from now. I'm recording this video in, in uh, early January of 22. And we're going to be gathering in um, St. Augustine, Florida. We're going to be staying at the Guy Harvey Resort, which is a, w a reason to go there in the first place. Um, and I'll be joining Ron Madra. Uh, we're, the two of us are the instructors on this. And uh, this is a incredibly uh, <laughs> target-rich environment. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you 40 pictures that I shot um, last year uh, during the same week of the workshop this year. In other words, I was there in April last year during the kind of the peak season of the rookery. And I just picked 40 pictures. Um, these images were all shot between 9 a.m. and about 2 p.m. in one day. So just you can imagine the possibilities. So here we go. Um, what I'm going to do is get on here. And this is the first picture. So there's a lot of different types of, of, of waterfowl in this, um, you know, seabirds and waterfowl in this, uh, Saint it's called the St. Augustine Alligator Farm and Zoological Park. It is an incredibly target-rich environment. Like I said, there's stuff everywhere you look. There's something to photograph. Um, and you really get a chance to, you know, when you go out in the wildlife and, you, and you're, like, you're after birds, they're tough, man. And you may only get a, a fleeting moment with one that you've been hunting for a couple of days. And this experience that we're going to offer you, there's experiences like where everywhere you look, there's a picture to be made, literally. Um, and all these birds are on the nest, they're on the roost. And so there's like eggs and you can actually, if you're really patient, you can actually watch eggs hatch and see, you know, birds be born right in front of you. Um, and so it's really a neat environment. Um, they do such a great job there, uh, at the alligator farm that it's amazing. See the eggs on the bottom of the picture. So this, 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 I think this is an egret. This, this thing is like moving the eggs around and, and getting ready to sit on the roost. And then there she's getting ready to settle down on the eggs. There's a bunch of eggs there. So this is kind of typical. Um, and what's nice about this place too is that in most wildlife situations, especially where you're shooting birds, you know, the minimum requirement is like a 400 millimeter lens or a 600 millimeter lens or even an 800 millimeter lens. This place you can do great with long glass, but also just if you have a 7200, even a 24 to 70, you can do amazing work in the alligator farm. So you don't have to have a ton of stuff. Um, this is 800 millimeter, by the way. So if, you know, tops of trees are kind of tough to get from the ground if you don't have a long lens. But, um, <clears throat> and many people will rent a glass. They'll just rent from lensrentals.com and then come to our workshop. So that's another option you might consider. One of the things that's so cool about the, the alligator farm is how close birds are to each other. They are not only sharing the same branch, but they might be sharing the same like tree limb where they have a nest, like right down the street from each other. It's incredible. They're all cooperative. They don't fight with each other. It's really neat. Um, you know, images like this are really hard to get. Um, and what you have is the alligator farm has basically a elevated platform that's made of wood it's big huge you know posts st sunk into the into the uh like a lagoon and then you're walking you know between five and 15 feet in the air above the water level and so the natural habitat for these birds is to be 10 to 15 20 feet high up in trees in their nests so you can like literally look into nests here instead of looking up at them from the ground like you're used to and images like this, this is an intimate little moment. Uh, it's incredible, you know, and I have to brag on the Sony Alpha 1 and the eye autofocus. It's amazing. But it doesn't matter what you have. You can bring Nikon, Canon, Panasonic, Olympus, <clears throat> whatever you got, you know, you're welcome to come with us on this workshop. Um, the birds are constantly in motion, and they're either still building nests or preparing nests or repairing nests, which means they're flying all the time to go get sticks like this to bring back and put in the nest and like fashion it into the, to, you know, make the structure stronger. Um, and you can just do this all day. Um, this is one of my favorite images, just a spoonbill in flight. 
Spoonbills are really a special bird. I'd never really known anything about them until Ron called me and was like bragging about them and saying, hey, man, we should do a workshop in this place. It's incredible. And so I drove down there and literally from, you know, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. one day I made all these pictures. And it's it just it really is neat. These spoonbills are very they're almost so ugly. They're beautiful uh, in, a, in a way. Um, but they're almost like prehistoric looking birds. The spoonbill is so unique. And then the pink color, it just, it just screams of Florida for sure. If you get bored looking up in the sky, um, the lagoon has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of alligators. And if you get lucky, every once in a while, you'll see a big commotion and a big splash. And one of these water birds will disappear right down the throat of an alligator. I, it happened to me once. Uh, it was incredibly how fast these things can move. So if you're interested more in reptiles, you can come with us and just shoot alligators all day. That's totally permissible. But to see these things on the roost, I mean, these these little guys, these little spoonbills have just been born recently. Um, I'm not sure if it's days or weeks, but, and you can see the pink, uh, the real dark pink is the, is the, the mother trying to sit on the roost, and these guys are, you know, not letting her sleep, obviously, like normal. It's just amazing. Like, literally, I'm looking straight into a nest. Now, this nest is probably 15 to 17 feet off the ground, but the walkway is such that with a long lens, you can just look straight into the nest and see this. I sat on this nest for quite a while and just watched, and I was laughing about, you know, just how funny the little, the little chicks are. Even they have, when they're just born, you can see the feathers are barely even growing on this thing. And they're already doing the nest. It's incredible, like the, the built-in sort of information that they have in their brains to just build and protect. There you can really see the wings. They're barely developed, like the, the feathers haven't even grown in yet. Um, it's just amazing to see this. Um, and again, the, the spoonbills have a, kind of an acquired beauty. The more you look at them, the more beautiful they become, um, especially their eyes. They're really neat. <laughs> this is a little tiny one that's trying to get a bigger brother to feed it, and of course there's no food, so they're both waiting for mom to come back. One of the things that's neat about the alligator farm is all the people there. There's so many, I would say that probably 20% of the people that come to the alligator farm every day are photographers just like us. And they're looking to make that one smashing image that they're going to put and it'll blow it up on the, on their wall at home. Um, and so it's a very friendly environment. You know, Ron and I are used to shooting on sidelines in the NFL for going way back. Both of us have a background in sports illustrated and there you kind of hold your cards close, man. You know, you're in competition with everybody and at the alligator farm and with most nature photographers, it is completely the opposite experience. Everybody's there to help each other and give tips. It's really cool. This is just one tree that I just looked up at, and you can see all the nests. I mean, you, you can't. it's hard to count them all. And if you look close, you can see the birds on the nests. Um, it's just really cool. And again, like you'll have egrets and you'll have spoonbills right next to each other. It's really, really cool. Um, the spoonbills are extremely active and they're flying back and forth to the nest. They're, um, they're bringing like sticks for the, the nest. They're, they're getting food. They're doing all this stuff. Um, and it's just really neat. You have all these opportunities to shoot them in flight all the time. So if you get bored of the nest, you can just look up at the sky. If you get bored of the nest and the sky, you can shoot the alligators. Amazing. I'm a little hot on that exposure, I'm afraid, but hey. I'll show it to you anyway. Again, you can just get such intimate, you know, images of these birds on the roost. It's just incredible to, you know, you get them to see how they're dirty even. And sometimes you don't get a great view, but you got to be patient. And uh, like, I can't see the mother very well here, but I can see the chicks pretty well. It's just cool. And again, like birds in flight, I mean, you know, oftentimes when we go out and shoot birds in flight, we're looking for one bird to fly. At the alligator farm, you look up in the sky and there might be five or six in flight at once at the same time. And this is constantly happening. So it's really, it's a workout for your upper body, man, especially your left arm. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
We can do this all day long. Remember, these pictures are shot from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., just 40 pictures. Now, I shot, I kept like 350, but I don't want to bore you with all that. And here's the guy just leaving the top of the tree. So come join us. Um, <clears throat> there's information below in the, in the description where you can click a link, and it will take you right to Ron's website where you can register. And, um, you know, we'd love for you to come with us. And, again, it doesn't matter what your skill level is. We will help you. Um, in fact, that's kind of my job. Um, I'm really a kind of a geek with, uh, you know, cameras. I can help you with your settings or whatever, autofocus tips, stuff like that. Um, and we just want to have a good time down there. And, uh, you know, we just we really enjoy teaching. Ron and I teach together, and we have a great time. We have a lot of laughs. And uh, we'd love for you to come and join us. So please think about coming uh, to the Florida Spoonbills and Wetlands Birds Photography Workshop. Take a leap and join us. Thanks so much for watching.